as you guys can tell by the title of this video, I got a job at a surrogacy agency and I am so excited to fill you guys in on what's been going on in my life. I know that a lot of my subscribers actually found me when I shared my experience as a surrogate and I'm so, so grateful for the community of amazing women and moms that I've created from sharing my experience as a surrogate. After I delivered my surrogate baby in December of 2019, I shared my labor and delivery video, I shared postpartum videos about how I was feeling after giving birth to a surrogate baby. A lot of those videos got me a lot of my subscribers that I have today. About six months after that, I got approached by the owner of the agency that I did my journey through, and he had asked me if I wanted to work for him. I did. I didn't know anything about the world of surrogacy agencies. I was very naive. I worked there for two years, about a year into it. I started to have negative feelings towards the agency because of how they treated their surrogates and their employees. My morals didn't align with the companies and I can no longer recommend girls to go to this agency. I quit and I became a nanny just to kind of figure out like what I wanted to do next. During that time of me being a nanny, one of my old coworkers from the first agency I was with recommended me to a, another agency. And this agency was very small, just starting off, and it was just the owner, like there was no other employees. So I was working for her as an independent contractor. She asked me if I wanted to help her start and run her social media. So I did. I started her Instagram and I started her TikTok. I really, really genuinely enjoyed what I was doing. But now looking back, I was for sure taken advantage of. I've never publicly talked about this because I honestly was like embarrassed for a while because she had, I don't even wanna say fired because I wasn't technically an employee of hers, but she fired me from doing social media. That was the only consistent income I had. And it wasn't much, it was like $2,000 a month. $2,000 is not a lot of money, but it was consistent and I was pregnant and I had quit my nannying job to help her and pursue that full time. So I thought, even though I wasn't working full time, if that makes sense, I don't know how to explain it. We were not on the same page basically. But once she let me go, like she sent me just a long ass email, just kind of shitting on me. And it really, really, really bruised my, I don't know if it's my ego or just like hurt my feelings. Like, I don't know. It was just really hard for me mentally to deal with that. And at the time, I couldn't understand why. Like, why is this happening to me? Why me? Why doesn't she like me? Why am I not good enough? Like, those were all the things that I was feeling in my head. We just like weren't on the same page. She hired people and never like told me. So I just didn't feel a good connection with her anymore. We just like weren't on the same page. I left that agency and I was kind of just at a point where I was like, I am done with this industry. I just cannot deal. About May or June of this year, I decided that I was going to try to look for another job in the industry. I thought, third time's a charm. I'm gonna find a really good, strong agency that is already established that I can grow in and that I can have somewhere to recommend girls to go to. So I found an agency on Facebook and I applied, I got hired, and no shade at all to this agency because they are a great agency and I have nothing negative to say about them. It was just not a good fit for me. I didn't feel that connection that I wanted to feel. I just didn't feel like this is where I was supposed to be. So I listened to my gut and I quit after being there for about two months. And like I said, no shade to that agency at all because they were honestly all so sweet. Like I had no issues with that. anybody. It was just not a good fit for me personally. I've been doing social media for 10 years and I have grown my followers all organically. And my relationship with the people who follow me and support me means everything to me. And I never, ever, ever, ever want to recommend anything to anybody 
whether that's a surrogacy agency or a breast pump. Like I never want to recommend anything that I don't genuinely love and believe in. So that's always been super important to me to be super authentic and share things that I'm passionate about and just really be myself. Social media is hard. To make a career out of it is hard. It takes a lot, a lot, a lot of unpaid work. And on top of that, sometimes you get really good months and sometimes you have really bad months. So for me personally, right now, social media wasn't enough for me to just do just that, if that makes sense. So I got a job at a coffee shop working part time on the weekends and I absolutely love it. I just wanted something where I could have like adult interaction and so that my husband can spend time alone with the baby because he works during the week and then when he comes home, like it's all of us there, but he's never like one-on-one -on -one just alone with the baby. So that was really important for me to have him have that time with him. So I got a job at a coffee shop just a couple days a week. I also really love coffee and I just kind of wanted to learn the industry a little bit. A couple of months ago, one of my surrogates from the first and second agency told me to apply with the company that she was working at. I just kind of was like, um, I'm over it. I'm over agencies and they're all the same. They're all shady. They're all this, they're all that. Like I was just over it. I've been burned so many times. I didn't even respond to her and I just didn't think about it. About a month ago, I had looked at their website and their website just stood out to me. Something that I noticed like right away when I clicked on their website was it says decidedly different. I love being different. I love when people are different. I love when people express themselves in different ways. I, one of the things that stood out to me the most about their website was how diverse their staff were. And that to me was such a green flag because there's not that many black people in the surrogacy world. When I saw their about me and just like all that they stand for, I just had a really good vibe. And so I decided to apply. First interview went so well and I was so, so nervous, but like super excited because I just had this feeling about it. I had my interview on Thursday and I told them, oh, I'm going out of town to Mexico for a wedding. I'll be gone until Sunday. So Friday happens. Saturday happens and I told my husband I was like oh my god they haven't told me anything like I don't think they liked me and he's like dude chill like, you told them you're on vacation they probably don't want to message you on the weekend I had a text on Sunday from Christy she's the COO of the company and she was who I had my interview with or one of the people I had my interview with and she texted me and was like I know you're in Mexico but we just really are interested and we want to set up another interview with the owner so then either Monday or Tuesday I had an interview with her and the owner Angela it just felt like I'd known them forever it felt like such a vibe I was so excited like I don't I don't know how to explain it it was just such a different feeling that I've never Ever felt with any of the other agencies that I've talked to. Mind you also, I wasn't looking for a job at an agency. I know a lot of people are. If you look on these like Facebook groups, there's Facebook groups for working at agencies. A lot of people are like just looking for any in into the industry and I didn't want that. I wanted a specific agency that felt authentic and just right for me personally. So anyway, I had my interview with the owner and she was so sweet. It went so well and I was so excited and they basically told me that they were going to offer me the position and to look out for the offer letter and if there was anything in the offer letter that I wanted to change to let them know and they were just so kind. Before I had received the offer letter, my husband and I had talked about it and I was like, okay, like what salary would I accept? What am I willing to do? What am I not willing to do? You know, like we had all these conversations. Fast forward a couple of days, I got my offer letter. You guys, when I got this offer letter, it exceeded my expectations by so much. I just was shook, okay? I was shook. So I accepted the position and then we had a meeting on Friday, just kind of talking about things because I am going to be running their social media, doing their marketing, and also talking about surrogacy on my own channels as well. And just kind of bringing light and education to the surrogacy industry and just bringing something different. So I'm super excited for that, but that's what I'm gonna be doing, which is different because the last few agencies I've worked for, I was doing like intake, one of them I was doing medical records, I was doing you know, interviews, calls, and just 
doing so many things and now I get to really just like focus on one department and have a team of people that I get to work with. On Friday, we were talking because they're doing a content day the next week in New York. New York is where the agency is based out of. And Angela, who is the owner of the agency, was like, do you want to come to New York next week? I'm like, girl, yes. <laughs> we got to go to New York. So that was super exciting. I love New York. If I could move to New York, I would. It's not easy to just move across the country. Me and my husband absolutely love it. The vibes, the people, the food, it's just, Ugh, I love New York so much. Red Eye on Sunday, we got there on Monday. We had our content day Tuesday. Wednesday, we had our headshots. We went to dinner, we went to lunch. They welcomed me and my husband and my baby into their family. It was just unlike anything I've ever experienced in a job. And I feel so blessed and so excited for this new chapter. And I'm so excited to take you guys along with me on this new journey. I did vlog the whole thing, so stay tuned for my next video so you guys can watch that. I feel like all of the things that I went through led me to where I am today because last year when I was pregnant and I was working for the smaller agency I told you guys about, I couldn't understand why. Like, why is this happening to me? Why me? Why doesn't she like me? Why am I not good enough? Like those were all the things that I was feeling in my head. It's just a lesson, I think. Everything happens for a reason, but sometimes you don't know that reason until way later. And that was for sure the case with that situation. Everything really does happen for a reason. And at that moment, I was so hurt. I was so sad. I felt so many emotions. But now, today, a little over a year later, I finally understand that that had to happen to me for me to not only just grow into the person that I am today, but also to open the door for bigger and better opportunities for me. So yeah, there's so many surrogacy agencies out there. If you guys are interested in becoming a surrogate, you need to really, really do your research and understand everything about that agency, not just what they're willing to give you as a base. Okay, there's so much that goes into it and I'm so excited to make more videos talking about it. There's just so many exciting things coming, so stay tuned. I'm so excited for this next chapter and I'm really excited to bring you guys along. Make sure you subscribe for more videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.